A water's murkiness, or turbidity, can significantly raise the risk of a shark attack. Local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie seeking snorkelers. shark is unaware, the noose around its neck tightens thanks to a crack team of shark hunters.
But I think it's probably a bad idea to get in the middle of Flamingo's natural migration cycles. Just saying. a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. This isn't a program about ski boats or competitive water skiing. time hitting the water when a shark becomes a threat to human life.
attention spans are short. We've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty.
While the term skiff is commonly used to refer to shallow, flat-bottom boats like this, it could also be a cool nickname. Once those gills get dry, it's time for the shark to return to the water. The spectacle of a rampaging shark never fails to attract interest. Handle the shark assignment on Dead Horse Lake. Rapid shark attacks? Okay, it's our problem now, Cold Scar. While most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips, in real life the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests.
Grand Special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open living with vintage appeal. Call Deborah. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. What you want? Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shark. A breeze is here. 
Another shark draws to a close. The spring of 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty theft. and eight dollars to become a licensed shark hunter. Though very few bother with this formality. We're almost there, but we need some boats out on Dead Horse Lake. Multiple shark attack reports. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. As with many social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. embarrassing right but in Port Clovis they put up a monument it's gotta be the best at something
Here, it's difficult to miss humans' impact on the natural world. Since the mid-20th century, an increasing number of oceanographers have warned about uncontrolled development of the sea. The ferocious feeder has spotted its next leader. Bull shark loose. Local hunters are forced to put Red McCoy. I wouldn't know him from Adam. If he'd kill another fisherman, 
That's between them and him, yeah? I would like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program. Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so that ends the battle.
The clever predator shows a well-developed talent for finding food. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. the catfish's highly developed auditory system, lab tests reveal they still prefer CDs over vinyl. We appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. Scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus.
shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Specialized taste buds all over their bodies, so they know that you're the one that peed in the water. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. made a home near the retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers.
It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. is a classic Sol Munier, today the bull settles for something more simple. of action.
The Fawtick Bayou area has lost 63 acres of marshland due to saltwater intrusion.
versatile grouper can be fried, grilled, skewered, used in soups, or made into a horrible tasting gelato. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable sea.
From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. While the state of Dead Horse Lake is alarming, we can be assured that a new era of environmental stewardship will restore order to our treasured wild places. <laughs> Barracuda has a mouthful of teeth, each different, each carefully designed to decimate its blood. Some appearance of the Barracuda does little to intimidate the shark. Everything about the bull shark is custom made for survival. A complex combination of sensing devices are key to the bull shark's success as a hunter.
shark is now an adult, and she should probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds.
encounter helps us unlock the mystery surrounding the habits of our secretive Squalar. that a shark could conceivably live forever. The clever predator shows a well-developed talent for finding food. reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Especially large groupers have been known to swallow sharks whole, so the bad feelings here go both ways. The needle tooth nightmare, the Barracuda. Unlike the cautious shark, the Barracuda is often quick to attack. Barracuda, 
While most recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Although the barracuda isn't prized as a commercial fish by humans, just about anything. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. 